All right, so I'm gonna show you how I achieved this lightsaber trail effect. As you may or may not be aware, most meshes are made up of triangles. With this vital piece of information in mind, imagine the blade of a weapon moving from point A to point B. Well, don't imagine it, because I created this delightful animation just for you. Now, if we were to keep track of the tip <laughs> and the base of the blade between each frame, we would have four points on a plane. Using these four points, as you may have guessed, we can create some triangles, and in so doing, we have a nice little weapon trail. Cool, so here's what this means for us in Unity. Let's create an empty game object, which will act as a parent for our weapon model and the trail mesh we're gonna create. Next, we'll create a prefab from this and head into edit mode. We'll add two empty game objects to the blade, one to track the tip and one to track the base, and we'll adjust their positions accordingly. To the weapon parent, we'll also add an empty game object, which will keep track of our mesh filter and mesh renderer. Let's go ahead and add a script to the weapon parent. I'm just gonna pop the script in my scripts folder and open it up in Visual Studio. To start, we'll need to create variables which reference the tip and base of the blade as well as the mesh we added earlier. We'll also add a variable which defines how many frames our trail should exist for. Lastly, we'll create some variables to keep track of the mesh object itself, an array for the vertices and an array for the triangles. We'll need some vector 3s to keep track of the previous tip and base position. We'll also create a global variable to keep track of which frame we're on, and a constant to keep track of how many vertices we need to create per frame. In our start method, we'll initialize our mesh variable and assign it to its game object. We'll initialize our vertices array. Its size will need to be the number of frames multiplied by the number of vertices we're gonna create per frame. Lastly, we'll assign the previous tip and previous base positions to the current tip and base positions so that when the next frame comes around, we'll be able to keep track of where the blade was in the previous frame. In the late update method is where the fun really begins. We use the late update method because we only want to render our trail once everything else has finished its rendering. Our first step is to make sure that we're only rendering the trail for the desired number of frames. We'll do this by multiplying the desired number of frames by the number of vertices we need to create. Now, per frame, we need to create 12 vertices. This is because we'll need four triangles. Hmm, four triangles? I know you must be thinking we only need two. Well, because our camera will only render meshes whose normals face it, we'll need to create two winding directions per triangle. So let's start with the triangle created between the current base, current tip, and the previous tip. Then we'll do a reverse winding for the same three points. Next, we'll fill in the gap by creating a triangle between the previous tip, previous base, and current base points. We'll create a reverse winding for these as well. Finally, we'll assign the vertices and triangles to the mesh. We'll also increment the frame count by the number of vertices that need to be created in each frame. And we'll update the previous tip and previous base position so that in the next frame we can reference them properly. Back in Unity, we'll just have to do some configuration. We'll assign the tip and base object as well as the mesh object. We'll set the number of frames to render for to 100 for now. I went ahead and created a basic animation just so that we could see what is going on. Let's hit play and see what it looks like. Well cool, our mesh is rendering. All we need to do is assign a material. Whilst I stumble through this, you can find all the code linked in the Git repo down below. And hit play again, and everything looks good. Thanks for watching. If you think there's a better way of doing this, let me know in the comments down below so that I can ignore your comments. Okay, bye.